hello and welcome so in this video I am going to install virtual box but I already have it nope I don't uh, this is adding out I don't know why uh, I think uh, it's conflicting with the uh, Hyper-V and I did not want to use uh, Hyper-V anymore uh, because the Linux uh, Ubuntu and had installed it it Kelly they, they felt like uh, there was a lag and I learned VirtualBox they have these tools that you can do and uh, that you can add and it acts like your native machine so uh, let's see install turning off programs and feature and under there there is turn windows feature on and off and you can see Hyper-V is off now all I have to do is go to my virtual box and let's download and try to um, download virtual gives me a big one windows host hopefully this is the one it's downloading hundred MB let's see what happens I miss uh, Internet Explorer so much because it used to have like uh, get this one uh, let's see do we want to install it on C or let me change the directory here let's make it I believe it's D E so why not installation and yes install nothing is happening I don't see my bar going up and down oh there it is so maybe it's not a true offline installer it does need to go online fetch something oracle start yeah why not let's see if i get the error or installed i hope it is installed and it is and actually i see my mac os oh wow it's been a while it's been at least more than three years uh when i had installed this let's try to run it when was it i'm trying to see if i have time frame nope uh let's try to start it i'm super excited this uh, this installation is from summer of 2020 and uh, that's when i had installed this one so close to three years somewhere like so it's june now i believe it was june or july of 2020 when i had installed that or maybe so I don't see Friday June 16 it will be awesome if uh, it boots up uh, to Mac OS uh, login screen I had totally forgotten about it I installed it because at that time I was I had applied to a job and the job required for uh, Mac OS support and I installed this at that time I could not uh, afford a Mac so oh wow look at that let's see if I can log in I don't know if it's the password I think I'm in so yeah at that time I could not afford a Mac so I downloaded this virtual machine try to log in and try to learn it uh, things change that summer things change uh, dramatically uh, the decision sort was not true okay ignore all right so I have my Mac uh, from three years ago Wow this is so cool and it's working I am logged in these things are popping up that I believe were left there but yeah look at that so it's a long story i am no longer into support 
I'm in networking right now and going towards network security and cyber security uh, and cloud security. That's the ultimate goal. So I'm leaning towards there. Uh, but this is a good reminder and it's a pleasant surprise. Uh, we can see my virtual box install. I am and it's more I'm more than happy. So I'm gonna wrap this video here. This is how you install VirtualBox, download and uh, run. You don't have to do any settings in your um, uh, Windows. Uh, you have to have uh, your uh, um, virtualization support enabled in your BIOS, your CPU, all modern CPU do it natively right now. It has to support it. But other than that, you don't have to do anything uh in in terms of windows settings like for hyper v you have to go you you don't have to you not only have to enable it in your bias motherboards bias you only ha you have to go and type in add or remove programs feature something like that uh, turn windows feature on and off and you have to enable hyper v here as well so if you don't enable it here you don't go get hyper v uh, i actually liked hyper v uh, but that lag issue was too much of a uh, eye strain. All right, I hope this video has helped you. If it has, please rate, comment, subscribe, and share. And I'll see you in the next one.